Welcome to another episode of Town Square Kung Fu. I am your host, Frankie Barbour, aka the Shogun Supreme, man. Y'all know the deal, you know the vibes. What's the vibes today? We're gonna be taking a look at Toro Murakawa's game trilogy, which consists of the most dangerous game, the killing game, and the execution game, starting the late great king of cool, Yusako Masuda. Now, before I get deeper into this episode, I have to give a massive shout out to MVD Entertainment Group. And they're fantastic. They will do their own releases and they ship just in time and they take care of the packaging. So they show me mad love and they sent me a review copy a while back. And I loved it so much, I ended up buying the retail copy because not only is these films are good, it has Tony Stella's art. A lot of people know I'm a big Tony Stella fan. So shout out to MVD Group Entertainment. Now about these three films. Now, what made these films stand out and it stays consistent is the soundtrack by Juji Ono. If you don't know who that man is, that's the man who did the Lupin soundtrack, man. So you got some amazing music in all three films. Now, all three films have different tones, but they got the same, I don't say the same vibes, but they both, you know, the all three are, are interesting because the first one, it's a lot sleazy, very exploitation heavy. He treats women like he has no love for the thotties. And even the dudes, he, like, he don't care. He don't care. He has to get the business done. Because the first film about two companies, man, going at it, trying to get this government contract with these weapons. And you think it's about that, but the film spirals into something else. And it feels more like a character piece with, you know, um, Yusaku and Masuda's character. You know, because I'm watching this, I'm like, what the hell is going on up in here? I'm like, wasn't this about some government contract, save this guy, and what is happening here? But it's a solid entry. Now, the second one takes five years after the first one, but it really doesn't continue. It's more like his past catches up to him. But it's basically, he gets caught up in a Yakuza war, you know, women being used to get him set up and all this other stuff is straight stuff that you see in East New York, Brooklyn, man. You know what I mean? But it's more drama heavy and it makes more sense than the first film. But it's not my favorite, but I quite enjoyed it. Now, in this booklet, it has writing from um, Haley Scallion and she just, I remember the first time I encountered her writing, I seen her stuff online, was when she did the writing for um, Big Time Gambling Boss from Radiance Films, and she gives a little insight into the history of the actor and what was going on during that period. And you also got writing by Dimitri giving you a little history of what was going on during the film scene, the film industry, especially with Toy, and it's one fascinating piece. Now, the first film has a dual commentary with um, Chris Pajali and Mark Warlow, um, legendary people in the industry. And it has um, the second film has um, commentary from um, Earl Jackson and Jasper Sharp, and the third one from Tom Mess. And the third one is grimy. It is cat and mouse, has this Gotham Knight look to it. And the way the film begins and the way it wraps up with that shootout, woo! Yeah, it's, it's no, no joke. Now the action in this film is typical where you saw from that era, shaky cam here and there. But the first one is, the third one flows a lot better. Great um, mono mix. Picture quality is the best that um, Toy was able to do. I mean, it looks great. And um, Arrow did the coloring, but a great transfer. Besides some night scenes in the first one, a little noisy, but it's not bad. It came out fantastic to me. It sounds good, solid subtitles, great extras, and the soundtrack. The soundtrack is what sell this film to me. Like seriously, there are a lot of the music I think they're available on Spotify. I've seen them on iTunes and even on YouTube. Again, if you're a fan of that detective noir, sleazy, exploitation type films, this trilogy is, for, is definitely for you. So definitely pick it up, man. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. And until the next one, peace. And I need to get some water, some holes. I don't know what's going on with my voice, man, but I got y'all, fellas. Peace.